Hello everyone, uh, my name is Fenton, and welcome to my review of Witches of Ash Ruin by E. Latimer. Um, so this is a book that I was recommended by on an app that tells me some books that like are in my genre of interest, and this book came up. If you don't know, I'm super into like witchy stuff, so I'm super cautious about media representing witches because, you know, there's shows like Sabrina and the Teenage Witch, which is always talking about how we're Satanists and all that jazz, and I hate it. But, as you can see by the back, this is about Celtic witches, so I was interested to see how they would handle that type of mythology. And it was an so interesting overall, point. the story had a good, interesting premise. I really liked the idea of, like, looking around and trying to figure out who this murderer was that was killing a bunch of witches. Um... Unfortunately, it doesn't take us very long to find out who it was, and by that I mean the literal first chapter tells us. Uh, yeah, the literal first chapter tells us who it is. And I didn't like that. I kind of wanted it to be like, who's doing this? And like, looking around town to just see if we can find who... Maybe it's another witch, or something like that. Although I do think, by the way this book ended, there's going to be a sequel. So, there might be more to this story than we initially thought. Um, the characters are all pretty good. I enjoy the two main characters, Dana and Manier, a lot. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, they're really cute. Uh, cute. Um, they're very interesting to follow, relatable. They both have their own set of issues, but other than that, any of the background characters are very bland and not very well fleshed out. They're given lines, basically, and like basic personalities, but they're not super interesting, and any time we had a switch, like a perspective change in a chapter to a character that wasn't Manier, or that wasn't Dana, I did not care about the chapter at all. There was a character named Sam, or Samuel, in it. I despised his entire character with my entire being. He was so bland, so boring, and I just hated him. Maybe he'll get some development in Chapter 2. I hope he's not in it at all. Um, I really hated him, so that Another was my thought I have with him. it. It's more of a lesser-known thing. If you do practice witchcraft, you know that black and white magic is not a term that we use anymore because it's outdated and it gives a su suggestion that white is better than black. And that is problematic. So we don't use that term anymore, and I wish more people in the media knew about that, because black and white magic, we don't, we don't do that. Also, people who practice what's called right-hand magic, which is the same thing as white magic, don't hate people who practice left-hand magic, which would also be known as black magic. It's a balance. We don't hate each other, most of us. Um, so... I'm getting really sick of the trope where it's just like, this witch practices black magic, she's evil. Of course, the magic, like, shown in this book is a lot more intense than, like, our type of witchcraft. So, you know, give or take. I just didn't like another Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I, I hate Sabrina the Teenage Witch, by the way. Despise it. I hate most shows that depict witches in the media. This I did enjoy. I enjoyed all the showing the good side of magic and divination and stuff like that. That was all really well represented and I enjoyed that a lot. And of course it's played up because it's a book. Um, the story is yeah. again, it's interesting. I enjoyed reading everything. I enjoyed watching these characters go through different things together. Um, again, I had some problems with the background characters because it took me five chapters to realize that two people were actually mother and daughter and not the same character because they just, they were exactly alike and I think they're described at the beginning to be polar opposites, but they were not. Um, it's an easy premise to follow, uh, murdering witches, that's something we're well versed in. Um, it's a very interesting story, I read it in three days, that means I must have liked it if I actually like, took time out of my day to keep reading it over and over again. Um, it sets up a satisfying ending, and it also sets it up for a sequel. I will be reading the sequel if it comes out, because I'm interested to see if any of these characters are developed. Um, so I really want to see how the sequel goes, and I'm interested to see how they could continue the story. Um, so yeah. 
there's quite a bit of Celtic mythology in here that I'm not very well versed in, but it seemed accurate from my knowledge about it. Of course, like, there's some things that were very dramatized, um, and, like, some stuff about certain gods that I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if that's okay to say, but you know what? It's a story. Um, so yeah, and it's also an LGBTQ-represented book. Uh, the main character is bisexual. The other main character, I think, is also bisexual, but she might just be gay. I think she might just be a lesbian from the way the story sets her up. But there are two gay characters in the story. It's not really a main part of the plot. I kind of wish it would have been explored more for Dana because of how it sets up her coming out. But that wasn't really explored at all, it was just kind of mentioned. There is some pretty triggering stuff in this book as well, so if you're bothered by family issues and abuse and some... Actually, yeah, abuse would cover most of the problems in the story. I do not recommend it for you because it gets pretty in-depth with a couple things. So yeah, overall I give the book a 6 out of 10. There's definitely some stuff that could be improved upon. Um, some stuff to make the characters more interesting, especially the background characters. I would love for them to be fleshed out more. But overall, it was a pretty enjoyable story. Um, I'm excited to see a sequel come out. I'm excited to see how this world could be built. And I really like that it takes place in Ireland. Because you don't really see any stories that take place in Ireland. I would like to see more stories that take place in anywhere other than the US or Britain. <laughs> anywhere else. Because that's the only spots anywhere to like, any book. It's either in the U.S. or it's in Britain, and that's it. So yeah, 6 out of 10, could have some improvements, still a really interesting story, and I do recommend it. Um, just take it with a grain of salt when it comes to the witchcraft. It's not super realistic. Some aspects of it are, but the others are not. Um, so yeah, that was my review of Witches of Ash and Ruin. Subscribe to find more book reviews soon. I'll be uploading usually every Monday with a new book review, and sometimes throughout the week with tags and different talks about books. So thanks for watching.